In Central Florida, we do have a few showers possible, unlike Southern California. Let's get you outside to see what's going on. Here's a live look from Universal Studios, where you see the clouds off in the distance. We've got some surface moisture that's not going to move much over the next couple of days. So clouds certainly will be sticking around with us. And here's an even better perspective. This is as seen from our uh, Daytona Beach Sky Cam, our HD shot there from our West 2 studio over there. And you see all the clouds. It's still a pretty start to the day. We're at 62 degrees. Humidity, those at 93%. And we're even tracking some fog up here around Marion County. In Alachua County. Elsewhere, temperature wise, 65 in Orlando, 59 in the villages, 57 degrees in Ocala. Not a bad start to the day. But when you compare temperatures right now to this time yesterday, uh, we're running 15, 20 degrees warmer. So it's a certainly noticeable change. When you step out the door, lots of clouds between us and Cuba back over to Mexico. Little impulse to our south, some storms from, uh, say, Texas all the way through Louisiana, Arkansas, and even into Mississippi and Alabama. But that storm system is going to go up and around our area because we've got this big dome of high pressure. Basically, acting as a blockade, not letting anything in except the moisture that's already stuck here. So, today we're going to keep the clouds around, but we're going to keep uh, only a mention of a shower along I 95's uh, area there. As far as high temperatures go, 81 in Orlando. Notice our normal highs about 72, so well above average again. 78 degrees in the villages, 80 degrees in Claremont. Now, today, big travel day for Orlando as lots of our friends and family head back out of town. If you're heading to the Northeast, things are looking good, but you U.S. Air's hub in Philadelphia, Delta's hub in Atlanta, Nashville back over to St. Louis, even Chicago. We're talking about some delays as that storm system goes up and around our area of high pressure. Same thing holds true Houston for uh, United, Dallas for American. These two hubs could be talking about some delays because of weather, but everything further west is looking a OK. So the area of high pressure sits over top of us. We keep the mention of a coastal shower in there today. Same thing for tomorrow as that big storm system moves around us, but it Traps the moisture that's already here. So for the Russell Athletic Bowl, the forecast does look great for tailgating as the Sooners take on the Tigers. But we do mention some showers as the game kicks off. And last but certainly not least, the Citrus Bowl as the Golden Gophers take on the Tigers. Showers uh, on and off possible through the game. So it's something we're watching closely. 10% chance of rain though for us. And again, along the coast. For us this weekend. 20% chance of rain Monday. Tuesday, storm system cold front pushes through, and that kind of helps to drop our temperatures a little bit. Still, though, as we welcome 2015, temperatures, Ricky, above average.